Hello children, welcome to today's section. Children, in the last section, we will discuss how to insert rows and columns and also how to delete rows and columns. Okay, so today let's learn how to change column and rows with Okay, and also how to merge cells and how to create formula. This everything we can discuss today. Okay, so let's start with an Excel sheet. So, this is an Excel sheet. Okay, see children, by default, each column have a width of 8.43 point. Okay, the width of 8.43 point. Okay, so this is the width of each column in an Excel sheet. Okay, then if Excel content exceeds the column width, that content overflow is hidden. Okay, but is still present. See here I am typing Sri Gogaram Public School. Okay, see when I am typing this, now you can see this is exceeds the column width. Okay, so let's check what will happen when I press this enter key. Okay, here I am typing Sri Gogaram Public School. See when I click on any other cell. See here I am typing some other thing. When I type in this high, see now you can see the Sri Gogolam public school. The rest of the content is hidden. Okay, but when you double click on this cell, then you can see the full content in this cell. And also when I click on there, you can see the content in the formula bar also. Okay, the next one, how to change row and column width. Okay, children. So to change the column width, just place the mouse pointer over the column heading. See now you can see the mouse pointer is changed into this shape. Okay, when the shape or when the symbol appear, then you just click and drag. See now you can see the width of this column is changed. Okay. See now I increase the width of this column. Now you can see the full content so you Google and public school in a single cell. Okay, so based on the content, you can increase the width of column and also if you want to increase the row height you can do the same procedure just click on here on the row heading then drag then you can see the row height is also increased okay then if you want to merge two cells okay if you want to merge two cells suppose to create a mark list Okay, supposed to create a mark list. Then here you are typing this, which one? This English you are typing. Okay, on the next is cell max. Then on the next is cell science. Okay, like that. So if you want to include these three heading under this marks, then you can type here the marks. Okay. Here and type type a marks okay then you can merge all these three cells together so to do this merge first you can select the cells like that okay just click and drag then you can select all three cells okay then click on this home tab so this is our home tab then in the alignment group okay this one is the alignment group here you can set you can see the merge and center merge across merge cells and unmerge cells okay when you click on this merge and center see now this one is merged okay so this english max science these subjects are coming under the section marks okay children then our next topic is how to create formula See children, formulas are the entries that describe the relationship among cells and generally are instruction to calculate or manipulate with numbers or text. Okay, now you can apply these formulas on numbers. Okay, see here I am typing three subject names. When you enter the marks in these three subject names, here I am typing three subject names. Okay, here I am giving only two entries. Okay, then here we can find the total marks. Okay, here we can find percentage. 
okay we can increase the size of this column like this okay then to find the total first you can press this equal to symbol okay the formula will always begins with an equal to symbol then how to find this total you can add these three marks okay so you can click on this cell then press plus then this one plus then this one okay then press enter now you will get this total okay so when you click on here now you can see the formula that we applied on the formula bar okay so if you want to implement oh, the same equation in another cell just drag like this now you can see the formula is applied to this cell also okay then to get the percentage you can do the same procedure first put an equal to symbol then this one here divided by 300 okay into 100 okay then you will get the percentage then click and drag then the formula is applied to here also okay children so this is how we insert formulas in an excel sheet okay so now i believe this topic is very clear to you don't forget to practice all these things in your own systems okay then see you again with our next lesson okay till then bye thank you